you've got to say. <laughs> you have every right. I cannot believe it. So even... <laughs> Hang on, let me just do my clap. You start. <laughs> I paid £1,550 to Comic Relief and you didn't film for the last half an hour. You're such a pro. How many of these? I asked you, how many of these have you done? Over a hundred. <laughs> I think we should point out that we've been driving for, I don't know how long, but at least 25 minutes. <laughs> and we haven't recorded anything. So now we'll start. That is, I think out of all the mistakes, I've made lots of mistakes. That is the most that's amazing. And humiliating. Well, you should be really glad I'm not some like really good Imagine. celebrity you've got for 20 minutes or something. They just, oh. You have every right just to punch me and get out. How <laughs> no, because we're in the middle of a road in the middle of, We're in the middle of a flyover. <laughs> I think really that go. might be a bit of an goal. <laughs> yes, officer, I punched him and got out of the flyover. I am so embarrassed. <laughs> that is extraordinary. I mean, I'm quite impressed at the sheer ineptitude. <laughs> that is, I am so rubbish. So, Carpool viewers, this is proof if it was ever needed that I am absolutely rubbish. Anyway, look, I'm going to explain now very quickly. Well, then. Again, <laughs> this is a very special carpool. Boy, is it special! It's effectively a special needs carpool. <laughs> this is that uh, that uh, there's a big organisation in the UK so for overseas viewers called Comic Relief in the UK, which raises money for very good causes all over the world. It happens once every, not every year, two years. every two years, and uh, a lot of comedians do stuff, and there's you know. And one of the spin-offs of this year's was a thing called Twitch Relief. You could bid on eBay and they would follow you and, uh, and all that sort of stuff. And then there was add-ons. So this was so my add-on was to do a carpool with whoever bid the most to do the carpool and etc. So that would be me. That's you, the winner. Yes. And so then it's all marvellous and we all meet at the right time and it's all really well organised and I've got the cameras in the car and then we start driving and it's a fantastic conversation that you won't see. <laughs> and then it suddenly, I got, I just had a, out of the blue, it came out of the blue, I suddenly had a lurch. You and did, I, did I actually press the red button? And you didn't. And I hadn't. You were so busy pressing all the other buttons in this lovely so sports car So many buttons to press. That is, anyway, so that's why we're here and that's what we're doing. And I'm presently driving you to Waterloo we're now going to do a loop, I think. Are we I not? think we've got to do a massive loop. It's all right. It's a good job I'm not in work till this afternoon, isn't it? God, that is a classic case That's amazing. Of chronic ineptitude. I mean, imagine if you, one of the people working for you, had, and you said, "Can you do this?" Yeah. And, that, and they they made that big a cock up. I, I don't think they'd be working for me much no, longer. To be honest. Actually, you probably you probably if you've got good connections within government, you probably have them shot. <laughs> Take I, like, out I like the way there's good connections with the government with now no context whatsoever <laughs> so what oh, yeah. is ID? Yeah, she works for MI6 <laughs> in a secret, not, in a secret not, lair no, under I the Thames. I work as a web content strategist on a small project called Alpha yeah. Girl that's recently launched that's and we had front. a lovely conversation about and you I'm going to make you sit through it no, all I again. No, I want to hear because no, but the, you, the advantage you've got is you're talking to someone who's quite stupendously thick, as has just been proved. So everything you said just now is already... It's just already gone. It's already gone straight through the old sluice. Okay, so we're we'll start from where we were again. Okay, so I am, as I just said, a content strategist. Yeah. And I'm working on a project um, for... Well, you had Martha Lane Fox on a few months ago. Martha Lane Fox. She talked about the report that she had just done for the government looking yeah. at their digital services and what could be done to improve them generally and uh, as part of her sort of digital champion race online 2012 uh, position that she has. Right. And so I am involved in the, the alpha, the proof of concept that her ideas will work. So there's a, a small team of um, 10, 11 of us, multidisciplinary team sat in a small office in Waterloo. And we've been there for a few months and we'll be there right. for about another month and a half. And, oh, so uh, it is quite a short yeah, yeah, oh, and I, really did, yeah, I didn't know that. Oh, okay. so I thought there. it was there for like oh, 10 years. So you get the recap. No, so, no, yeah. no, no. We've been there literally for a, a few months and we'll, it'll be about 12 weeks to follow time right. in total, I think. Uh, and so, yeah, at the beginning of May, we will put this this alpha project, and it is very much an alpha, not even a beta. Right. It's a proof of concept that, um, that you know, government digital services can be improved and, you know, by focusing more on the citizen and what the citizen needs from government and their interactions with government rather than the other way around where there's been there's been whole heaps i think it's the official number is 263 websites across government for a variety of different things and we're not going to go and absorb 263 in one go or anything but we're showing that the way that these uh, digital 
services are being handled at the moment can be better. We think we found a way to do that by concentrating on what users want to do with the government. So we're taking the 100 most popular tasks that people have um, done, uh, want to do with government, say pay car tax, look for job seekers allowance, that kind of thing, right. find out about those, and try to repackage and represent that task as a thing that can be completed as opposed to a thing you can learn about. Right. So we're looking at tasks over content, which kind of pains me as a content strategist, but it's the right way to go. Tasks over content, because I'm just trying to, so I, I think I know what you mean. Well, so, that yeah, they, so, so that the, the person who's using the facility yeah. has a greater importance than the... Yeah. We're getting, now we're getting wet. But, now but, we're getting wet. Yeah, but not that wet. God, this is great. <laughs> Worst taxi ride ever. <laughs> do not get in with this man. We have to get, we've got it now, go back to Hyde Park. Yeah, we did. Do the, we had to do the little We did this thing. thing earlier where we That's went good, from 0 to 50 in about nothing, I yeah. think is the scientific yes, term think, for I think, it. I think the measurement is nothing, yeah. Um, we are getting properly wet now. We are well. now, and I can't go faster because <laughs> if you go over about 40, you don't get <laughs> no, wet. we don't but, get wet. But, but we really can't go over 40. Yeah, so I'm... So I'm, I might pull over, I'm just going to yeah, go around the corner and we might put the roof might on. Might put the roof on. Yeah. That would be good. To be fair, I've done what I came for, which is to drive around London, you know, yeah. With the roof off. I know, so yes. I'm alright putting it back on now, I think. <laughs> yes. For the first half an hour, we were the people going around London in this, and it was great. And now everyone else is looking and going, who are those people with yeah. a sports car in with, the rain? In the rain, with, a, with no roof. Because they've got a sports car, they're going to sit there without a roof and look <laughs> like tits. But what put that into context in the previous conversation was mm. where was what you did so you that that's a job that you're doing now but in general you are so yeah, you're so also general, doing the same thing with private companies and yeah so big I, websites yeah, I'm, and I don't I'm not a government employee no. um, I'm uh, so you're you right yeah uh, yeah so my my company that I run with my husband Super Nice Studio we um, we do user experience stuff related right. to web design which is helping companies look at how they can best improve their websites by looking at it from the user's point of view essentially. So what is a right. user trying to do on your site? How can you best present that to them? Um, both visually, you know, how can you indicate to them this is the bit you clicked, this is the bit you don't. Right. And uh, things like, because I, I do the content stuff, so I look at tone of voice, so, you know, how friendly do you want right. to be? How austere do you need to be? I mean, with right. government, you need to have a certain amount of authority. Yes. No one wants yeah. their government going, hey, Hey, do you, want, do you want to, like, click this button? Ah, uh, <laughs> yo, man, dude. Then you can pay your tax, yeah? Yeah. I quite like that. <laughs> Fuckheads. This should be like a plug-in, basically, that you can yeah, have that. You can have that. A Firefox plug-in that, that yeah, exactly. makes government hip. As part of this thing, we, we so because of it, what it is, and because it's you know quite a, a you know, big deal, as with all things new, there, there's going to be positive press and there's going to be negative press about it. We've yeah. already decided when we get negative press, we're going to play the, um, the arrow tune you know the Romeo and Juliet theme. Oh yeah. Do, 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 do. And uh, and read out all the bad press in yeah. that voice. It's really good for bad reviews. I suggest you, you try it. It's quite good fun. Oh, what an embarrassment! <laughs> it's quite it, funny. I think it is quite. It, it's sort of. Yeah. I will totally it's be on, blogging this. It's, yeah, it's on the verge of too painful for me to laugh at. It's just so <laughs> tragically stupid. Well, no, you should just be grateful that it wasn't with Stephen Fry or something. You had 20 minutes of his time. He would probably have laughed as well. But, I mean, he, I start yelling about how unprofessional you actually, are to your production company. Do you know what? It has actually stopped. No, no literally, we put it on. Yeah, I, I think it'll get worse. I, I don't think windscreen wipers then. on my house it is. That goes in there. I like the way how, how essentially yes, there is analog a, this is. It's a, it's a very analog roof. Wallet, phone. I've got to get in. I didn't grunt. <laughs> I did it very calmly. Very, very gently. <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure this car was designed for cobbles either. I love it. We're getting the video game rumble pack experience now. <laughs> it's a special plug in. <laughs> That's right. You're not meant to be on this road. Turn round, turn round. So my mum uh, was one of the first programmers for a commercial company. Wow. Uh, in, one of those proper, proper cobalt clicking card stuff wow. in a commercial printer, and so it's um, in your, it's in your it's in, jeans. It's in my blood. Yeah, yeah. I actually, uh, there's um, yeah, I wrote about her on my blog. What I keep saying, I wrote about her a while ago, about um, for like Women in Technology Day, um, right? And saying, you know, she was genuinely an inspiration to me because. Um, well, she, she worked in a day back at a time where she did the payroll for this printing company, which was so big, that's why they required this right. computer and invested in it. And so while, while the, the printing press itself was not in any way computerised at this printing company, right. the, the payroll, payroll company was. was. 
yeah. So it's, yeah, everyone wants to get paid, right? Yeah. Um, and, but it was a time when, as a female, you couldn't work on your own you know, without secrecy. Well, she was a manager, wow. which was pr practically unheard of. She would work night shifts running this thing overnight. And uh, her name is um, Patricia, and she had to sign herself in at work as Pat, so that no one would further wow. up the question why a woman was running a computer on her own at night. Wow. That was some... Yeah, really big so deal. It's, it's, it's quite hard to even understand the roots of that sexism. Because it's, it's it could be. Bizarre, isn't it? I don't know what it is. What's it? What's that from? She was the, yeah, practically the only person there that could run this computer, right. and yet, yeah, very strange. Right. And so she bought me um, a a micro computer, as it was then, um, when I was about five or six. Right. This instruments right. thing, cartridges. I, I, this nerdy child, nerdy child. And like, you liked it. You were interested. I, I taught myself to play chess on it. That's the wow. only time I liked it. Wow. Nerd child of that. Yeah, and then I, I taught myself basic to write text adventures because I quite like text adventures, but I didn't understand half of them when I was right. about eight or nine. Yeah. Um, and that's it. That, and that's I, what see, I, I missed that whole. There's a whole era of that sort of early development of computers that. Yeah. I missed everything. So, so a text adventure, you have to, so that is where you say something and then something happens. Yeah. You are in a room. You can right. see a lamp here. Get lamp. Right. You get the lamp. Light lamp. You have no match. Right. Find matches. There are no matches here. I do right. not know what you mean. You know, that kind of stuff. Right. Um, which is weird because I, 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 when I go and talk at conferences with um, designers and developers about my sort of work, one of the things I talk about is a microcopy, which goes back to what we were saying about forms and, yeah. um, you know, people... You, you know, to have an interaction, you might even need to know some, ask someone their name and their email address to, to recognise who they are and present them with options repeatedly. But as soon as marketing gets involved, they add in, oh, we should know yeah. what their name and address is yes. and their age, so we can market to them. Yeah. And then legal goes, well, if you're going to ask that, then we have to have all these disclaimers, and yeah. it becomes a massive bloated form that should only be two things. Yes. Um, and so I talk about that as, um, if you imagine these kind of interactions as, as being like a text adventure, you know, the, right. the stuff you're asking has to make sense, otherwise yes. people right. go, well, I don't yeah. know what this is, yeah. so I don't know why I'm doing it, you know, and the interaction is kind of lost there. Um, so that, yeah, some of my, I think some of my, my content writing and that kind of interface stuff goes right back to trying to work out how to write a text adventure as a nine-year-old. Yes. I was the most fun kid to hang around with at school. <laughs> When I was nine, that's still an age where boys are with boys and girls with, are with girls. Yeah. And, and regardless of that, she encouraged me to go to the very small computer club that existed right. at my school, which was mostly boys. Yeah. Um, excellent way to pick up boys at an early age, I discovered. Show them your basic skills. I flirted via coding. Get me. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know what? The thing is that if there's. If Mum, there's, I was at the computer yeah. club and I showed them my basic. I showed them my basic, yeah. That's great. I, I flashed love that. them my array and they liked it. <laughs> but that, that, the thing about that is, I, what I found from that is, I found the sort of boys and girls, but the, the boys that I liked. And yeah. so I married a man that's like that, and pretty much all my relationships with other men were, were like that, and the ones that didn't work were because when I said, I've got a computer, they went. I like CDs. <laughs> well, the same thing kind of happened with the web is that it started off with being, you know, bedroom programmers playing yeah. around, you know, finding this new thing they could do where they could get a computer to talk to another computer. And that's kind of what some of the problems that are inherent with the web and some websites are, is that the, it's, it's built around building rather than built around doing. Yes. See, back when it was a fun experiment and people were playing with stuff, it was okay for everything to be quite nerdy. And God knows I love a bit of nerdism yeah. as much as anyone else. Because people would, like people were talking to like people. You know, yeah. They, they, yeah. they knew each other. And then suddenly it became, well, let's attach a bank and see what happens there. And it became about the user right. uh, and people that aren't computer savvy. And so now the, the movement is, right, how can we actually make this accessible back when, it, you know, take it out of its bedroom roots and make it into a mainstream yeah. usable thing. And I think we're now stepping into that area where most people who want to have access to a, uh, a computer and to the internet, um, at least in the, the Western world, and get out of the way, <laughs> get out of the way. <laughs> this thing, when you put your foot on just a little bit, Honestly, it really it's goes. That that much. Much. No, it's very, you don't very... want to sneeze with your foot on no. the pedal. No, it is. Yeah, it is. Quite quite difficult. I mean, you know, you just have to be very, I've been light very light-footed. <laughs> Actually, yeah, look, because we, we, when we started, yeah, what did it say, 200 and something, what was it, oh, 206, wasn't it? And I, I bear I mean, in mind, we've done a couple of loops at this point. We I have. Guess. We've been driving for longer than it may appear on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> a 
editing may have occurred at some point. Some Can editing you... may have occurred. The, the 30 minute test run we did. Well, just I'm just opening the windows because we're getting a bit misty. Yeah, are, aren't we? Um, but now we can. Yes, we can do the thing going, right? So this is where we started. You won't get the same face of shock I had last time. No. I was a bit more braced for oh, this. So right? we're about to pretend. We'll have to yeah. act really. But can we act really badly? Yeah, let's do ham. Just in keeping with the up. whole thing. Surely you can't act badly. Massive. Surely it's not in your. <laughs> <laughs> I've never. I've never. Seen you. No. Have you got the turning circle of a London taxi? Otherwise, you might struggle a bit. Yeah. Well, I think I can. I think I can get round on this road. But um, I'm going to wait until these people go. I do it. Because I, I, I was trying to get very close to the curb, you see. This is about the thing you learn in this particular video game. <laughs> if you start there. Well, you've got to remember all driving is a video game to me because I don't drive. Is, so yeah. It's, yeah, this is I'm my impressed. reference. And then you've got to make sure that other vehicles aren't coming. Because the weird thing about this video game is if Ooh. other vehicles crash you, 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 crash actually, you can't just reboot. That's no. rubbish. So we're just going to do a little now. You should oh, trade uh, this one in and get Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. <laughs> so we're all right now. We're going to do that. So you've got yeah, to do yeah. some really rubbish. We're going to do rubbish acting from right, three, now. Three, two, one. I'm not going to say how fast we went, but that sign is flashing at us that we're going too fast. That's so my new Twitter picture. <laughs> I think then I was actually so scared. I wasn't doing, I was doing quite real terror acting. So I think this is... Oh, mine was definitely ham terror acting, so there'll be a nice contrast there. <laughs> so how did you get into acting? Were you always an actor? No. Were you a comedian first? No, I never person? wanted to do it. I was shy. Uh, 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 wet liberal school child. <laughs> you know, I was. I did. I painted. You joined the computer the... club, didn't you? You would have been a computer no, I would have, oh, I would have yeah. done if they were. If they existed, I think I would have done. I think. Yeah. No, I did. Um, I painted the scenery of the school play. I remember okay. uh, when I was like 15, 16. But I, and the idea of going on a stage was just. I didn't. Even, well, it never even occurred to me. But I remember watching the school play and going, "How do they remember all those words?" <laughs> Yeah, that isn't that something mystery. you vaguely struggle with, generally? Yes. I, I hear rumours. I mean, but the, thing, the frustrating thing is when you do struggle with it, which I always have done, but then you can do it. Yeah. If you couldn't do it, then you'd give up and you'd do yeah. something else. But I, I, I have done, like, for instance, an hour and a half solo show. So that's a yeah, lot of words. That's a lot of words. And I've done it hundreds of times. And yeah. so, you, so I can do it, but Sit. the pain <laughs> the yeah. suffering involved. I, yes. I mean, it's so unfair. People, um, Craig Charles is an excellent example, and actually Mel Smith is another one. Who, uh, two people I've worked with. Just drink in the words. Uh, uh, absolutely photographic memory. Literally read it once, and they know everything, and they I never make them. a mistake. They don't. He doesn't like because I'll do a rough appraisal of vaguely the feeling of the line. None of the words that are actually written I bet on the, the page. Loved they love that. <laughs> Could you do something that vaguely resembles what we wrote on the page? We're just going to run there. There is a police car in front of us, and being very, very law-abiding officer. We're now going under Admiralty. So we've just driven down the Queen's front drive. I'm only saying this for the. Oh, why not? You know. I don't know. Do you know it's that thing? I wonder how many people who live in London. Not well, I do, but I live nearby. But how many people who live in London actually come and do this that frequently? I bet they oh, don't. It's still a tourist event. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you've got any sense, you'd never drive into London. <laughs> it's a really daft thing to do. Yeah, As, do I'm staggered. Too. How many people still do it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I would, uh, the only time I ever drive in London is when I'm doing carpool, which is bonkers. So, did you see in my, I mean, kind of over there, the thing in my Twitter stream, when I, um, I said I'm doing this, and then loads of people must have said to you, beware of the tentacles. Oh, yes. Right. Yes, <laughs> so which was, was only slightly alarming. Yeah, slightly alarming, <laughs> I know. So I am kind of known as the tentacle sex girl. <laughs> Years ago now, I talked about um, IP infringement and content and proliferation online, and how trying to basically sample over IP infringement wasn't going to do anything good. And um, looking at the Japanese model of things that have happened with um, Japanese fan made mangas, which are called Dijinchi and stories and so on, fan arts, um, showed actually that this proliferation of stuff could be good. It actually backed up, it helped people feel more involved with the universe and so would buy more merchandise, buy right, more games. Yeah read more books related to things and so on. And, and one of the things that's traditional in Japanese erotic art is um, essentially tentacle sex. Like right, so it's having sex secret, with sort of monster things, right. monster things. In fact, there's a very famous um, piece called The Fisherman's Wife, I think, which uh, shows a gentrified Japanese lady uh, enjoying some um, activity with two octopuses. <laughs> You can look it up. 
It's on Wikipedia. So I discussed this. It was about three minutes of a 30 minute talk. Right, but, but of course, but of course that was the bit that everyone latched on to. They then became the tentacle that girl. That the tentacle sex girl. The tentacle sex girl, yeah. Yeah, um, Just give me a clue, because I'm, you know, yeah, we're well, vaguely you know the bit where I, Yeah, you know the bit where I said, I don't drive? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got a clue where you work. <laughs> okay, go, hang on, I'll just go back. Okay. That's not a reversing camera. It has got a reversing camera. Wow. wow! Look at that! Look this at is that! The future. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that! Just You're in the future. A, just need a jetpack, and we're right there. Okay. I am here. So, yeah, I've made it. I've done. At least I've done. I've done sort of ten percent. Well. Well, what, the, one of the good things I thought when I forgot was that the, the when I was talking and the spit went across you. That's not on <laughs> that's camera. That's not on camera. You said you just told everyone about it. <laughs> but thank you very much. You've been an absolute super sport, and well and congrat and well done as well. For I don't know what you say to me when they've been quite obscenely generous to a charity. I suppose you just say, well, you can't say congratulations. Well, I think there's an extra bit to this, isn't it? Because you said for every view oh, this true. talk, I know. you were going to put an extra penny in. So thank you to you and yeah. all my many followers that are going to retweet this and pass it around. Are you ready to sell your house for the kid yes. of Africa? I have told the children <laughs> that you may, have to be, be you may be living in a tent, but yeah. that's only if we can rent the garden space to put it up. Do not meddle in the affairs of web content strategists, but they are smart and they know how to link. <laughs> oh God, that could be quite shocking.